Hello, my lovelies. Um, this is your Murphy update. If you didn't catch it anywhere else, um, Murphy is okay. We went to the vets. Um, his puncture wounds were not very deep at all. Um, but uh, he did. He had already begun to get a little bit of infection. So uh, he's on antibiotics, and he's going to be on them for two weeks, just in case. Um, and I've got him some pain medicine because he is very, very sore. Um, he's a bit lethargic. Uh, I think that's, you know, between the antibiotics, which, you know, dogs aren't real big fans of. Um, and then, of course, his pain meds kind of zonk him out a little bit, <laughs> as pain meds do. Um, so I've been, he, he's at my feet. Uh, He's really clingy right now, so um, after I make this video, I am going to go and uh, cuddle with him on the couch uh, so that um, he still feels like he's part of the family, but that way he's up against mommy and he feels better. Um, yeah, he uh, he's doing okay. Um, he's finally ate a little bit, but he's being really persnickety about what he eats so when Joe gets home from work and is able to stay with him I'm going to go and get him some wet dog food I had some left over from when Brutus had lost most of his teeth so he got some of that um or actually might have been when Danny had her problems with her tummy that might have been what it was left over from but regardless um I gave him some of that last night which he ate but he will not touch the dry dog food right now and um he doesn't really want to drink water either, which is, but they said that's one of the um, side effects of the antibiotics is that they're just not, they're not very thirsty and they're not very hungry, um, which of course is worrying to me, but it was to be expected. My vet went over everything with me, so um, it's just a regular worry. Um, he's, he's allowed Cass to come near him now, which is good. Um, but he still prefers that if, if Cass is near him, when mommy's near him, <laughs> uh, Danny's allowed to be near him at all times, however, because you know, that's baby girl. So, um, she's kind of been the buffer between the two, which is weird because usually she's the boss and not the buffer. Murphy is the buffer. But I guess when, you're, when your buffer is hurt, the boss becomes the buffer. I don't know. Um, any hoodles. Um, Cass feels bad because everywhere I have Murphy, Cass is right next to Murphy. <sighs> this happens, though. Um, dogs fight sometimes. They get either agitated with each other or there's just too much excitement. And sometimes it happens, no matter how much they love each other. And... Many, many of you have written in to tell me the same thing. Like, it's always scary when it happens. It's not like it happens all the time, but it does every now and then. And, um, yeah, I mean, you've all you've written in to tell me. Uh, you, you know, he'll be fine. It's just the way of things. And, I mean, he didn't have to have surgery. He didn't have to get stitches. Um, so, you know, that's all good. Uh, he just, you know, we got to make sure the infection is making him a little, um, his fever was good yesterday though. Um, he didn't have one, uh, but it comes, it comes and goes. I think he gets a little fevered at night. So, um, yeah, but basically he's got his meds. Um, he's not growling at Cass or anything. He just is giving him side eye when he doesn't want him near him. And Cass is obeying the side eye. So they're communicating on a level that I can't understand, but apparently it's working because Cass is remaining as close as possible to him where it's not upsetting him. So I'm hoping within a week or two, they'll be back to cuddling with each other like they usually do. Um, yeah. And right now, Danny just feels unloved because Murphy's getting all the attention. And usually she's the one that gets all the attention because she shoves her face in your face. To get the attention. I have very spoiled dogs. Um, any hoodles. Yeah, but since we're doing that, um, I'm not going to do vids this week uh, because I need to spend time with 
the pups um, just to make sure that nobody's looking at his wound because the other two, of course, trying to do that because that's what dogs do. When another dog is injured, they try to clean it up. Mommy's keeping it clean. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, and just to make sure that they don't jostle him uh, too much because, I mean, my dogs have some energy um, periodically and I just want to make sure because, you know, it hurts him when that happens. He has jostled himself by rolling over and yeah, so, but yeah, I just gave him his pain pill about 15 minutes ago, so I'm going to go and get him all situated on the couch in his fuzzy blankets and um, we'll find something stupid to watch um, and it'll be fine. Won't it, Smurfy? Uh, yeah, but when he is, when he's looking better, I'll have him, I don't want to pick him up right now because it it hurts him. Um, so, uh, but when he's feeling better, I will have him come and make a, make a cameo <laughs> for you guys. I love that you guys are so worried about my little, my little dude. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I will see you before too long. I just, you know, I want to spend time with my dog and make sure he's okay. So, um, very short hiatus, I'm sure. I can just give me a couple days, you guys. Um, like maybe I'll go over the weekends, um, you know, and they'll just be late videos. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try and come up with something fun for you for something later this week. But uh, we should, we'll probably be back to regular schedule next week. So no worries. Okay. I love you guys. And I will see you soon. And thank you so much for all your kind thoughts um, for my Smurf man. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.